Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy John for the Game Dude here, welcoming you back to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. And in the last episode, we finished Trial 5, got it all set. It is definitely colder IRL and in the game and we are out here and um, we lost my boyfriend, of course. I mean, we knew we were, we thought we lost him a while ago, so it was cool that we didn't, we, it took a little bit. He did some shenanigans before he left, as boyfriends do. And let's get on with the show. It's been a couple weeks since I've played. Obviously, you guys got to see that. Um, so I'm excited to kind of see where we're tailing off here in the final chapter of the series. Hopefully, lighting is okay. I tried to make it, like, better. So, oh, I guess I should introduce myself. Oh, shit, that's not who I thought it was. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I would've been Juko. <laughs> My name is Makoto. I don't have any talents or anything. I'm just a regular teenager. This boring looking person is me. Oh, it's a, wait, what? See, even the way I look is normal. Getting into an elite school like this is just the start of my bad luck. I can't keep up with my classmates' conversations or the teacher's lectures. I'm just treated like empty space in the classroom. At home, my parents are constantly on my case. Honestly, I'm fed up. I want to run away from my daily life. I want to run away and just forget all this. I want to run away and run away. And run away and run away and run away. But I'm okay. I have a reason to live. I've got something to look forward to. That's why I'm gonna be okay. What? Thanks for the courage. Thanks for giving me something to get totally obsessed with. Thanks for the strength to keep going. I'll keep on rooting for you. So please keep trying your best. And one day, I'll also... Whoa. <laughs> what happened? The school's bl building blew up. What, what happened? Hey. hey, over there. I turned my back. To, or turned my back. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Turned my head where Maki was pointing. Oh, we got a 3D graphic? Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my God. Kibo? What was that? Kibo, what are you doing? Yeah. You're flying. It's is it magic? Punk. I don't know what he's planning, but it looks like he's attacking the school indiscriminately. We need to hurry and stop him. We'll get caught in the mess if we don't. But, but how do we stop him? All right. We have to talk to him. We can we can get him to calm down. Okay. Or we got we or calm down and calm down. It's dangerous. But let's go to the courtyard. Let's try and get his attention. Oh yeah, you're right. Confused by the situation unfolding in front of us, we ran to the center of the courtyard. It's like a battlefield! Uh, we need to get his attention. Get him to come down. Kibo, come here! Are you trying to get us killed? Kibo. Please, Kibo, come down and talk to us. I shouted out to Kibo, who finally came to a halt in midair and slowly flew down to us. Hey. Here he comes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Did you call for me? Please keep it brief. I have other matters I must attend to. Other matters. Yes. I'm going to end this killing game. Huh? 
end the killing game. Indeed. To do that, I must destroy the ultimate academy, academy of gifted juveniles. What did you say? Destroy it? That's right. The killing game cannot go on if I destroy the school in its entirety. Could it be? So that's why you have that weapon. Oh, hey. What's with the weapon and the jetpack? Yeah. I obtained the equipment from my lab. Huh? You have equipment like that in your lab? Yes. I made some modifications to drastically improve their power, but output and functionality. Wait. Since you have been able to, or since when have you been able to do that? You didn't level up or anything, right? Did something happen? Uh, um... Didn't you say yourself that you didn't want to use anything from your lab? Right. That, that's right. You don't like looking sci-fi. That's right. Yes, I wanted to be treated like a normal human. A creature of flesh and blood like you all. I have decided. But I have no longer have that luxury of clinging to the wish anymore. I... My course is clear. I must destroy this academy and end the killing game. You can't! Hold on. If you do something like that, we'll die too, you know? There's no oxygen in the outside world. There are no living things. We're only able to survive because of we're inside the spaceship, you know? Right. That's right. Are you trying to kill us too? Yes. If my actions result in your death, so be it. Ooh. Huh? So be it. That's... Monokuma told us that despair is our only choice. That hope does not exist here. Unfortunately. And unfortunately, he is right. As long as the killing game continues, only despair awaits us. No. Wait, we still have hope. Remember. Our hope is everyone here. Our friendships who are still alive. Or our friends who are still alive. Yeah, if we all work together, even the killing game will. 100%. It will not stop. It will never stop. What should we do? And even if we did manage to stop the killing game and escape, where would we go? Earth is destroyed, humanity is extinct, and we have no home to return to. That might be true, but... Which means... Monokuma is right. Despair is all we have. We simply do not have the power to change the outside world on our own. Everyone. All we can do now is refuse to submit to despair. Hey. And you'd be willing to let all of us die to accomplish that? Logical. That is far better alternative than allowing Monokuma to continue the killing game. What was that? Are, are you serious? Listen closely. Kaido and Kokichi gave their lives to end this killing game. We should follow their example. We should be willing to give our lives to end the killing game. What do you mean? Is that what your inner voice is telling you to do? No. No. I can no longer hear that voice. Huh? You can't hear it anymore. That's right. For some reason, my inner voice has gone silent. The decision and will are, is my will, my choice. I have decided. I have chosen to modify myself and destroy this academy. Everyone. We will never submit to despair because we are students of Hope Peak Academy. Yeah. No, that's wrong. Why? wrong that's because there might still be hope there might still be a place to call home well, then. and what are you basing that claim on that's wrong. nothing but i just have a feeling Ew. just a feeling you sound like that idiot right now because kaido said so it's just like okichi said if this game rules that matters or, or if the game's rules matter so much someone's watching okay there can be no killing game without an audience. Um, Hope Speak Academy was the same way. It was a killing game made for an audience. This game must be the same way. Someone is watching this somewhere. There's someone left. There's still a possibility. True, we cannot say there is absolutely no possibility, but even a mere possibility, no, that possibility is our hope. Huh? What? Because We haven't investigated everything. There's still lots of mysteries in this school. If there are still questions to answer, we haven't found the truth. Um, and that means we can't give up. We can't give up before we reach the truth. Spoken like a true ultimate detective. I understand. Very well. I shall cooperate with your attempt to stop the killing game your way. Thank you. Kibo. Listen closely. But you have until dawn. I will not wait any longer than that. Huh? Until dawn? Yeah. Though dawn here is simply an illusion projected onto the dome. If you cannot stop the killing game by dawn, 100%. I will destroy the ultimate academy and end the killing game myself. <laughs> You're gonna end on what now? Oh my god! Ah, oh. I oh. It's impossible to end the killing game. I didn't realize this was gonna be voice like this. I should have known better. Cause the killing game is forever eternal. He's back. A 
attempting to destroy this precious academy is more than a violation of the school regulations. It's an act of mutiny. That's enough. So what? You are sorely mistaken if you think I will allow this to continue. Hmm. Oh, is this robot malfunctioning? Uh, he must be. Why else would he be trying to defy me? <laughs> then let's kill him until he dies. Hell yeah. Hey, oh, God. Hey. I, I have not done Mana Kid's voice in forever. Kind of. Didn't really expect to do slash nor want to worry about it, but yay! Voice crippling voices. <laughs> Ripping a robot apart isn't glory at all! Oh my god, I can't even do Monofany, what the hell? I can go all this time! Pops, can we kill him, please? Mm, they're so brazen because they don't have any hair downstairs! Well, any last words? Eek, they're all in battle mode. Everyone. This place is dangerous. You all need to get out of here. Kibo, Kibo are you okay? Yeah. Suichi, please find that truth you mentioned earlier while I stall them. Well, then. It is all in your hands now. Go. Okay. All right. Never forgive rule breakers. Anyone who messes with the killing game must die. Exosols assemble! No. I won't let you run amok anymore. This killing game is over. In the name of Hope's Peak Academy, the symbol of hope itself, I will destroy the Ultimate Academy and bring down this monument to despair. That's how it began. The war between Kibo and the Exosols. The Ultimate Academy became a battlefield. Goodbye, Dang and Ropa. Deadly. Deadly life! Oh, God. Straight to deadly. Okay, that makes sense, because we don't have a daily life. That's chapter six, y'all. We ran into the entrance hall, trying to escape the battle that was unfolding. Seems like... Things have become... Or suddenly become really bad. <sighs> so the robot uprising finally happened. Ugh, it's what I always feared, but... I never expected it to be like this. Why? But why did Monokuma leave a weapon like that and it was in the research lab? He's pretty careless, isn't he? Shuichi and the three girls. <laughs> That's what this is now. Shuichi and the three girls. Eek, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Hey, what should we do? Remember. Just as I said before, we need to find the truth in order to end the killing game. What's that mean? Okay, but, um, what do we need to look for? Obviously, we need to find the real identity of the mastermind behind the killing what? game. The mastermind? Is there really a mastermind in this academy? Because. If the outside world is destroyed, then the mastermind must be in the school, right? Kokichi wasn't the mastermind. Then in that case... I don't know. But I thought the only one saved by the Gopher Project was the 16 students. Nope. Don't you think the po it's possible someone may have infiltrated the Gopher Project? That's right. That someone could be the mastermind hiding somewhere in the school. Someone? You mean a remnant of despair, right? Then someone else inside this academy besides Kokichi is a remnant of despair? That's true. If we find them and kill them, then this killing game should end. Uh, um, I don't know about killing them. But, but there's a possibility that the mastermind is hiding somewhere in this academy. This complex is huge. There must be places we haven't explored yet. Right. It seems like it's worth a shot. But, and that's not the only thing we we have to find. To truly end the killing game, we must find the mastermind of despair. That's... And also find hope. Huh? Hope? Remember. Our home. Where we're going to live after killing this killing game ends. I know that there's hope out there, but we need to find it before we leave. Oh, this isn't some fictional story, uh, so I don't think that things are going to work out that well. Okay. But if we look for it, we might be able to find it. And if we don't try, we'll never find every anything. Okay. So we have to try. That's true. Since Kibo is distracting the Exosol, we won't have to worry about violating the school rules. Okay. There must be other rooms that we haven't investigated yet. All right. You're right. There's no point in complaining. Let's all just do what we can. Mm. Well, if we all work together, everything will be all right, right? Okay. Yeah, it shouldn't be difficult. No matter how we accomplish or how impossible it seems, we'll accomplish it, Maki. Okay. Yeah, that's right. 
All right. We need to find hope and despair hidden in this academy. Then, when all is revealed, the killing game will end. Investigation start! Hey. Let's split up and start searching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna split up. Uh, but we were in such a united mood. Uh, well, we don't have enough time uh, enough time left to all go together, unfortunately. You're right. Right. We'll see each other soon. All right. All right. I should go too. We need to end this killing game before dawn. What? A hole? Now it's time to test your bonds with your friends? By the time dawn, or the time to dawn and your bond with your friends will be displayed. If your bond increases, you can move the large debris. So work hard to end this killing game before dawn breaks. There's a staircase. Why is there a staircase here? Was this staircase supposed to be unlocked by a mysterious item? Hmm. There must be clues. I have to investigate. Interesting. So my guess is is that you're gonna need like I don't know how to gain bonds yet, but there's clearly got to be a way. It's broken, but. From this door, this must be an ultimate lab. Isn't it open? But it, there's only one ultimate lab left. Okay. It's Kokichi's, the Supreme Leader's lab. This door isn't supposed to open. Per the rules, if a student dies before their research lab is open, then that lab will remain closed. But Kibo's explosives broke the door. I should be able to get inside. I have to get in there. Hmm. So this is Kokichi's lab. Certainly does have that evil organization feel. But there's nothing that would identify the remnants of despair. Let's show him that the students of Hope Peaks Academy will never submit to despair. Hope. Despair. At the time, Kaido was in the Exosol, but it didn't seem like he knew anything about the remnants of despair. Kokichi and Kaido weren't there when the, we used the flashback light. But even without that memory, the truth is the same. If this lab was made for F Kokichi, there should be some link to the remnants. Hmm. Perhaps it's hidden somewhere. I should investigate this thoroughly. There's matching shoes, suits, and many colors here. If this is the Ultimate Supreme Leader's lab, these are uniforms for the other members of the organization. There are some unsettling objects here. Gas masks, handcuffs. There's also wigs and glasses for disguises. I imagine they seem com comical. Hmm. This doesn't seem like something the Remnants of Despair would use. Probably not. Supercar. It's like Batman's Arkham Asylum, Mary, everybody. A supercar? Is this the kind of thing that members of the evil, evil organization drive around? But would an evil organization really want to drive around such flashy cars? This is more like a child's area of what an evil organization should be. This is Kokichi's chair. 
Definitely something a supreme leader would sit in. But something's off. It's all too cliche. It feels like an entire room is just an elaborate prank. A large table. I One, I imagine, is used for strategy meetings. There's nothing of any particular interest on top of the table. Oh, there we go. I thought the helicopter was part of that. A toy helicopter. Is this Kokichi's? A shelf we investigated. There we go. Wait. Helicopter controller. It looks like a controller is over here. That's something I didn't see. Book. There's a collection of files here, bound like a book. Huh? It's a complete history of Hope Peaks, Hope Peaks Academy. I picked up the book and began rapidly flipping through the pages. And inside... Information on F uh, Hope Peaks Academy, the Future Foundation, and the Remnants of Despair. Mm. This is the history of the battle between hope and despair. But we already remembered all of this. We know all of this information. I don't suppose it'd make for a particularly useful clue. I don't suppose. No. Something's not right. Something is off. Because the things written in this book... Got a minute? Do you really have time to read that book? Uh. Maki! I flinched in surprise as Maki peeked. Um, at the thick book in my hands. What? The complete history of Hope Speak Academy? What's the point in reading this now? You've already remembered Hope Speak Academy with the flashback lights, didn't you? No. Yeah, I thought that as well. Hey. Maki, perfect timing. Will you come with me? Huh? For what? Is that all right? I need to tell you everything you rem or I need you to tell me everything you remember about the history of Hope Speak Academy. But why? But why? That's I need to check something important. I don't really understand, but I just need to talk about it, right? She gave me a big, almost theatrical sigh and started speaking in a bored narration. It all began at Hope's Peak Academy. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The world was plunged into ruin and humanity into the depths of despair. This tragic event was caused by a lone high school girl. The ultimate despair, Junko and Oshima. In order to fulfill her plans to plunge humanity and the world into utter despair, she organized the killing game of Hope's Peak Academy's 78th class. Trapped by the ultimate despair, the 78th class was forced to participate in the killing game. But in the end, Junko and Oshima died at the hands of the very killing game she masterminded. With her death, the despair outbreaks ended, and the world slowly began to recover. But the remnants of despair continued to carry out Junko's legacy of despair. The Future Foundation was established to fight against them, and their war raged on. Until one day, when the war suddenly ended. The meteorites, right? You can skip that part. Is that alright? Do you remember anything about the new Hope's Peak Academy? As for Hope's Peak Academy? 
It was later rebuilt by former members of the Future Foundation and resumed operations. They continued to scout students who possessed ultimate level talent. And that's all we know. This doesn't make sense. No, that doesn't make sense because what Maki just told me is exactly what I remember. Then what written is then what is written in this book? Are these just lies? Or are they oh. <sighs> I turned to one of the pages without almost What's without wrong? thinking. No. It's just the afterword written on the last page. Hmm. It says these documents were collected by several esteemed researchers. So this is the most thorough, accurate book written on the subject. Mm. Well, it says the complete history, so what's the problem? The problem is, if this is true... Hope's, the history of Hope's Peak has been added to the Truth Bullet section of the handbook. We can't ignore these inconsistencies. I should investigate more. In order to investigate this. I need to know more about Kokichi. I found this in his lab, after all. Hey. Maki, I'm thinking I'm going to go to Kokichi's room now. What? Why Kokichi's room? I'm... I have to verify something. I have to determine which things he said were truth and which were lies. Okay. Including if he really was a remnant of the spare. What are you trying to pull? Huh? There's no doubt that he was a remnant of the spare. Because in that memory... Okay, okay. Well, whatever. If that's what you want, then I won't stop you. Thank you. Thank you. I would never have imagined this. That Kokichi's lie might be the breakthrough that we needed to find the truth. What is this? What's happening? What? More flashback lights? Oh, it's Mini Makoto. Okay, it's, so it's not actually... Okay. Yeah, I mean, I figured it wasn't actually Makoto, but, like, it was a random that they used the same name, like, as the main protagonist of the first game. Hey, what's going on? One of the chosen for the Gopher Project? Gopher Project? I saw you on a flyer on the ground. That's the remnants of despair is doing. Gopher Project participants are classified. Are you one of them? I'm really good at remembering faces. Yeah, I get that a lot. Just a case of mistaken identity, I'm afraid. They're all students from Hope's Peak Academy, aren't they? I'm just a normal high school student. I don't have any special talent. I see. But you look just like him. Don't worry about that. Hey, listen, should you really be outside right now? The meteor... <laughs> Hypocritical much, Shuichi. <laughs> I'm not scared of them. Because my dad told me the Future Foundation will take care of those meteorites. If the Gopher Project succeeds, then the meteorites won't fall down. No, I've heard the Gopher Project doesn't exist to save us. Have you heard the rumor? All the participants died in an accident. You're wrong! They didn't die! How would you know that? Because! Those people are the heroes that will save the world, right? The Gopher Project wasn't created to save us. Never mind. Interesting. Heroes don't die! Heroes don't give up! That's why they're still alive! Because they're heroes! Heroes? Uh. That was a memory, right? N no. 
it's from that flashback light. Oh, that's right! Monica did do that. <laughs> this flashback light has a special effect. Is this... Suichi, just now. Uh, okay. That must have been that flashback light that Monokuma used after Kaido's trial. Huh? After Kaido's trial. Hey. Hey, what did you just remember? Uh, um... That memory was from when I tried to get away from the Girlfriend Project and threw away my talent. Oh, yeah. I remembered that same thing. But why? Why did Monokuma give us that memory? And will we experience another flashback like this one that we just saw? I don't know, but we I can't hesitate now. Hey, Maki, let us focus on this investigation. There's a lot of things we need to check. Well, you're heading to Kichi's room, right? Then I'll go with you. Huh? You will? Because something about him concerns me. That's why I want to check. She looks worried. Did that flashback? Do you want to die? Uh, um... No, uh, nothing. Let's go. Even so, a hero, huh? Friendship power up. You've increased your bond and now can move to breathe, or more to breathe than before. Would you like to leave? Yes. We have to go to Gokichi's room, so how are we going to manage that? Because I'm assuming that teleportation is going to be off the table. Oh, it absolutely is off the table. Okay, my assumption is correct. I was like, there's no shot that it's going to be on the table for this. So, is somebody going to be in Kokichi's room then? Uh, Kokichi's is up top. Yep. Why did I actually navigate right to his room? Kokichi's of all people. I navigated immediately. I, I'm like, I know where Kokichi's room is. Like, okay, me. Oh. Now that's a little disconcerting. That he has a... Thing from Angie's death. That... Is yeah okay. That's interesting. Oh whoa. Okay, wait. This is Kokichi's room. I don't know where he got all the stuff, but he hoarded a lot of things. It's unsettling, but we should investigate it. Right. By investigating his room, we got we might learn more about Kokichi. Kokichi said that he was the leader of an organization opposed or that opposed the Gopher Project. In that effort. He tried to make that position of the mastermind. The flashback light helped us remember that that organization was a remnant of despair. Kokichi was a leader of the remnants of despair. But is that the real truth? I feel that as though there may be a lie in there somewhere. Oh, I can't even get to that. Okay. Box of documents. There are several cardboard boxes filled with documents. Hmm. These look like blueprints. Huh? Blueprints? This is stupid. They're mostly drawings of childish fantasy weapons like ray guns and beam swords. Well, I wonder if the electro hammer and the electro web blueprints are here. Maybe he drew whatever came to mind and selected a few for you to create. Don't understand. Looking at everything, there's a lot of childish designs. Seems impossible to create. That's... That might be Kokichi's intention. His intention? Remember. He could have prepared a few fake blueprints to mask the real ones. It's nearly impossible to check all of them, lowering the chance someone would find it. Mm. You mean, there might be something important hidden amongst this stuff? You're right. I believe that's a possibility, but we don't have time to look. Then, then I'll do it. Huh? huh? Maki took a seat in front of the one, or one of the boxes and began searching the blueprints. Uh, um... Ma Maki? Thank you. Okay. No problem. Was that all we needed to do here? No. Collected evidence. 
Ah, oh, this is the hidden camera I set up in the library. And this inner tube was the floating, or that that was floating in the pool. And the book from the caged child seance. He was gathering all the evidence for the past incidents. The murder weapons aren't here, but why on earth was he gathering all of this? No, it's pointless to try and understand what he was thinking. You're right. Perhaps you're right. Oh, literally was right on what I needed. Okay, Cubs pad. Hmm. It's a mono Cubs pad. They were given as or to all of us as motives during Karumi's case, but the motive videos were switched up, and we got someone else's video. That's true. I don't want to believe. I want to. I don't believe this is motive video is Kokichi's. Then... And there's no point in looking, is there? No. No. We should check. I want to know what he knew. It would explain his actions. Then, when I touched my finger to the pad, the video started playing. It's probably going to be his. Yep. All right. Back by popular demand, it's time for the motive video. Who's the most important person? in your life and now without further ado if it's junko it proves everything to everybody that's the big that's the big reveal what kokichi's kokichi oma the ultimate supreme leader he caused mayhem the world over as the leader of the secret organization dice and by mayhem, I mean petty nonviolent crimes and harmless pranks. Anyway, Kokichi had ten loyal goons working for him. These goons were like friends and family, the most important people in his life. But then, a terrible event befell those precious people. What kind of event? It's a secret. Find out for yourself. <laughs> no. So this was Kokiji's motor video. Why? Why did he have his own motor video? Did he exchange it with someone else's? No. No. Maybe he was given his own motor video from the start. Like Karumi. I see. Oh. So Karumi wasn't the only one who got their own motor video? Well, either way, it doesn't matter anymore. That is true, but the content of that motive video is disconcerting. It's inconsistent from the information we already know about Kokichi. What can I deduce from that? Kokichi's motive video has been added to the truth bullet section of the monopad. I never thought that a motive video would con be a concern now. Kokichi gathering all of these pieces of evidence was a coincidence, right? Oh, maybe I can talk to Maki because she was looking at the evidence stuff. Hey. Hey, I wanted to ask you something. Huh? What is it, Maki? Well... Kaido believed Kokichi. He believed that someone was watching this killing game. What do you mean? What do you think? I'm... Kokichi does have a compelling point. The killing game only makes sense if there is an audience. Why else would there be all of these rules designed to make it more interesting? Because... It's just like Junko and Ashima's killing game from the past. Hmm. Marakuma is particularly strict about upholding the rules and livening up the killing game. Is it because someone's watching? But we're all of that's left of humanity, aren't we? I don't understand. Even if he did say it was a show to someone, no one else is alive anywhere else, right? I wonder if someone really did infiltrate this place. Okay. That's a, that is a mystery. But all mysteries conceal some truth. There's some are still truth to find in this killing game. Whether that truth is hope or despair, it's another matter entirely. Killing game has been added to the truth bullet section of our monopad. That covers everything in Kokichi's room. Hey. 
If you're done, you can leave. I'm going to check the blueprints. But, but because we rely on you the most, especially in this situation. After all, you're kind of psychic. Maki, well... before you go, I found something strange that I want you to look at. Huh? Something strange? Uh, um... This isn't a will. What is this? Is this a real will? This... I think it is a real will, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's fake. He was a liar after all. But if it is real, why did he leave Could it? it be... He left us this information in case his plan failed. Huh? He did? I don't think he would do something like that. Yeah. Well, let's look inside. Then we'll know more. When I opened the envelope, a small piece of paper fell out. Huh? Hmm? A second message. The wall next to the boiler. <sighs> That's all? It's probably another one of those horrible pranks. Hmm. I'm not so sure about that. But... I should investigate it just in case it might be an important clue. Okay, okay. Do you do what you want. Just don't waste any time. It'll be dawn before you know it. Okay. Yeah. All right. I should head to the boiler in the garden. I don't even remember where that is. But I'm gonna go where my brain thinks that is. <laughs> Poor me does not remember. But my brain is telling me that it's back here. The wall next to the boiler. What could it be? Perhaps it's just a prank. Around here? This area used to be covered in grass, but it's completely removed. It shouldn't be hard to find now. I let a gasp when I saw it. Huh? Twins B. Is this the second message? What could it possibly mean? If it was written by Kokichi, like the other message, then it must be read together. Or are they meant to be meant? Or are, are, are they meant to be read together? Then, In that case, it seems though that the message is incomplete. Two mysterious messages have been added to the truth bullet message of the handbook. But if this is incomplete, then what is Kokichi trying to tell us? Uh. Again? Aha! Okay, so that is the one I remember. Suichi Sayahara, do you have your ultimate memory back? Yes. As the headmaster of Hope Speak Academy, I want to ask you to please cooperate with the Gopher Project. I... I do feel bad about this. I know how much you want to run, but even if it's meant... No, or even if it meant no longer being an ultimate, those of you who have to live on like this might be the real victims here. But the only people who can go through with this is the pro or with this project are you 16 who have not been infected. The fate of humanity rests on your shoulders. The fate of humanity? What's the point? Huh? Even if this ridiculous mission is a success and we all survive. What's the point? Why try so hard to save the seeds of humanity? I don't understand. Perhaps you'll be the ones who will create that point. Huh? This, it's true that the situation you are all being forced into is harsh. 
so harsh that you'd think it's better to just die. But I still want you all to live. For those of us who want to live but can't, you 16 can live our hope itself. So please, I don't want to see any of you give up hope. I want you to keep hope alive. My head. I remembered something again. We were at Hope's Peak. And we participated in the Gopher Project? At that moment, I heard something crumbling above me. Are you all right? Shuichi, what's wrong? Are you all right? <laughs> Keep... Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Sorry, I've experienced a sudden flashback and my hand slipped. Then... Ah, did you remember too, Kibo? Yeah. yeah, we were at Hope Speak Academy about to sign on for the Gopher Project. But... What is Monokuma thinking, having us remember that now? As I thought. He's probably trying to make us feel despair again. Despair? No, but these memories... And we are about halfway through the investigation, if the indicator with me is correct. So that's a perfect time to end this episode, as we are going to go ahead and hopefully finish the investigation in the next episode. There, dude, this trial is going to be a freaking crazy mess. I already feel it. There's going to be so many drops, so many reveals, and a whole bunch of holy frick to come. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm really curious about the kid. What is, what is the significance of the, what I'm going to call Little Makoto? Be Like, okay. He, uh, uh, minor, minor point of speculation. I'm going to say Little Makoto and Headmaster Makoto, okay? That's, that's how we're going to differentiate the two. Because I'm sorry, that looked like Mikado.